Burkate a hawa, burkate a washai, burkate a hawa, burkate a washai, burkate a hawa, burkate a washai. All praises, glory, and honors to your hawa, basham ya washai, basham raka kodash, and double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great mystone, peace and salutations to the elect. I must say, us, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, we have all reasons, you know, to glorify the Lord, your hawa, basham ya washai, you know, to magnify those names on the earth and you know, if if it be that the Spirit of the Lord dwells with you, you would be so grateful. Yeah, you you would understand perfectly that faith is a gift. You know, and be thankful through the Holy Spirit that you have been growing so much more the days come by. Because you know, I've been watching the Apostle Gabar's video. As you can see, it is uploaded three hours ago. We are not to think of ourselves more highly than we are to think and and he was speaking of um, Zabak and the apostle basically was saying that you know these these vain glory basically that you're receiving of men not that men won't worship you you know not on the level of the most high you know but men men are, men are gonna praise you because you did something in the spirit that's good and I, I think I did a lesson on that the other day, saying you must channel that glory, channel the energy to your Hawa Basha Shai. You know, but we're not supposed to soak up that glory at any given time. You know, we're supposed to ensure that that pipeline, you know, that connects us with the Holy Spirit, or should, we should say the Holy Spirit connected us in a spiritual pipeline, you know, to your Shai, to the most high you know we, sh we should we should not want to take all that, that that glory or that spiritual water we should let it go back to the source man because we have received nothing of ourselves we're supposed to bring it back to the ultimate source which is yahweh basham yahweh shai you understand no i'm gonna say some something a little bit different and because uh, this lesson is not mean meant to be uh, a, a, a long lesson you know and um growth basically and your behavior in this ministry when you find out that you are grown or you have grown you understand no you see the apostle gabar's standpoint you know what i've noticed is that that's oh majority of the, the brothers that's been in this truth for a while we are now seeing things on a more perfect standpoint it's not that we change the doctrine or anything like that it's just that you know back in the days we used to curse people out we stop that shit you know it's it's more of an edifying you know it's, it's more of edifying the body it's not about cursing the the edomites they are the devil no it's about edification sake and there is something i want to say that look in the kingdom i see what well, this is the reason why brothers have to be growing especially young brothers man no no i'm not an apostle no i'm nobody to basically put it in the decree or any order which is not an order but this is just wise words you know coming from myself to brothers to to you know to look into things you know no um this is the thing yeah no the way the apostle gabar is speaking you know you can you can you can um realize that this man is is talking in the spirit and that's how we need to be talking within the spirit of the lord brothers you know and you have to you have to let your conversation conversation be seasoned with salt I'm, I'm gonna get to the point and grab some scriptures bear with me for a second i'm trying to merge this as best as possible so bear with me baba kosha all right no you see when you reason with people you have to ensure that what you're saying is connecting the holy spirit no they might not receive it but whosoever out there hear it that should, should receive it they will receive it because it, it is of the spirit you understand remember he that is he, if, if he's not of the spirit he cannot receive it but if he's of the spirit he's gonna receive it you understand Shh. anyway no the two-third let me show you something. This is growth in the spirit, man. The two third in the kingdom, brothers. This just came to me while the apostle was I was watching the apostles' video. So I, I, the spirit just said, you know what? Do it. Now in the kingdom, yeah. And this is mainly for our younger brothers. 
in the kingdom, you think when we, we if we, let's say, for example, Lord's willing, we are, we are men of the Lord. In the kingdom, if we were to be of, of the elect, do you think that when we see the ones that rejected the word of the Lord, you know, are come up against us, we're going to be there pointing fingers of, uh, pointing fingers at them saying, look, we told you that this was going to happen and we told her and you didn't, no, 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 that, that doesn't make any sense, man. In the kingdom, you'll not be like that, any at all. See, and, and um, based off my observation, there are young brothers who think that in the kingdom, in the kingdom, they're going to, they're going to, you know, basically look at the two thirds, you know, and basically point out that, look, we told you that we were right and you were wrong. And, you know, like you're trying to, to tell them that, look, you were wrong and shit. No, 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 no. Let's get some scriptures, man. You know, see, that's the reason why we have, an, we have, um, we have elders and apostles, we have heads, you know, because so much more they are growing in the spirit. We are supposed to be growing in the spirit, man. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, it says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right? So this is speaking of the time of Jacob's trouble, right? No, this is what it says, verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life. And you can see that you have brothers waking up all over the earth now. Waking up unto everlasting life, right? And some to shame and everlasting contempt. So in the kingdom, you're going to have brothers that's going to wake up in the kingdom to shame and everlasting contempt. Now, why would you, yeah? Why would you as a brother um, go around, you know, pointing at brother, a brother because he didn't receive the message that, we, that you were sending? And the scripture here said, and some, shall, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Saying, so if you have that in your, if if you have that in your spirit, if you have that in your notion that you know we're gonna we're gonna say to these men we told you so no no nah. you, you don't understand the scriptures man you know you don't really understand what the scriptures are saying now I'm, I'm gonna further prove prove it to you this is Ezekiel chapter thirty six and um let me start that. Verse 29, this is the Lord yeah, speaking, right? He says, I will also save you from all your uncleannesses. And I will call for the corn and I will increase it and lay no famine upon you. So this is definitely in speaking about in the kingdom because we, we are about to face another great famine at this very moment, right? So it says, and I will multiply the fruit of the, of the tree and the increase of the field that he shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall he remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good. And shall loathe yourselves in the sight. It's like you shall loathe yourself in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abomination. So they are going to do that themselves. It's not us that's going to do that. See, that's my point is that look... You know, you know that personal grief that you would feel for um for Jake because you know whether they did you something wrong or not, whether they came up against the word, as as the as the Elisha Parallel said, look, the judgment of the Lord is not because somebody did you wrong. It's not something personal, it's it's the Lord's judgment. The Lord said it best, vengeance is mine. I will repay, say the Lord. You understand? This is the Lord's doing. It's not your doing. It's the Lord's doing. The scripture says, let me read it again. Verse 31, Ezekiel 36, verse 1, 31. It says, Then shall you remember your own evil ways. So they are going to remember in the kingdom. Right? And your doings that were not good. And shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities. And for your abomination. Right? Not for your sakes do I do this, said the Lord Power. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. So they're going to be ashamed. We're not going to be in the kingdom saying, you remember you did this, you remember you do, you do that. Because you know, in the spirit, because you have grown, that look, it was the will and the, and the way of Yahweh Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai. You're not going to be there 
laughing at them, scoffing at them, jesting at them. No. No, it's growth. So some even even at this very moment, sometimes people do some shit, man. You just you just wink at it, bro. See? And then you have a time you gotta you have to curse and you go out. You have to be seasoning in the spirit, man. Perfectly balanced. And that's what? Growth through experience, man. You know? Let me say it again. That's growth through experience. You go back to see how the apostles used to teach 2013. Yeah? Not that they were teaching incorrect, but they are, they, they, it, and they were edifying. Because we have learned a lot of things. Oh, 10? Oh, come on, man. Oh, 9? We have learned a lot of things, man. A whole lot of breakdowns and stuff. But if you notice, um, the apostles, basically, they are making it more perfect in the spirit, man. It's more spiritual. And you have to be able to be within that confinement of the spirit. As the apostle Arimla said the other day, you ain't, you ain't of the elect if you're not growing in the spirit, man. So basically, that's what I wanted to bring out, man. See, this thing is not a personal thing. It's the Lord's judgment. You have, to, you have to see it that way. You know, you have to see it that much. That Look, this is the Lord's judgment, man. This is, this is not my judgment. Yeah, I am nobody. You know, you have to see yourself that way, man. This is the Lord's work, man. This is the Lord's doing, man. Anyway, with that I want to say, Shalom.